Spritillo goes, we're going through the lobby. And like the idiots that we all are, we follow him, squelching our way across the like marble floors. Hi, my name is Alex Schneider and this is Fill in the Blank, a place where everyday people share those quirky moments in life. So buckle up and get ready for some crazy stories. All right, and we're back. This is part two of Chicago. The story doesn't end with making it to the Willis Tower. We come down from the Willis Tower and our hotel is supposed to be pretty close. Well, as we leave the Willis Tower, we just get, I, we, you just feel like a couple of like giant drops of rain. We all kind of look at each other and then it starts pouring, downpouring. Once again, our directions are not working on anybody's phone. My phone is dead. Abby's phone is dead at this point. Everybody else's phone doesn't know where we are. And Spertillo's phone doesn't know where we are. So we're just kind of looking at like the map of Google that it gives us. And we're like, well, we're here and we got to get here. And so we're trying to figure out which way we're going. But and so what should have been a 10 minute run in the rain turned into a 20 minute run in the pouring torrential downpour rain. The seven of us are exhausted, except for one. One girl just takes off running like an antelope, like she is gone. <laughs> and Spertillo's following her. And Abby and I are like trying to herd the other like couple ragtag rest of the group like along we're like we gotta keep going we gotta keep up with Spertillo and these this other girl and we're like oh my gosh we finally all like regroup at a street corner there's a cop sitting right here in his car and I was so close to just knocking on the window going we're lost we're soaked we don't know where we're where we're going we're from North Dakota we don't even know what weather this is. It's raining. We don't get that out there because we were just exhausted and tired and lost. We make it back to our hotel though. 20 minutes when it should have been 10 minutes. We make it back to our hotel. The hotel is incredibly fancy. Very, very fancy. Like there are guys walking around in tuxedos, women in sparkly evening gowns, and we're like, Oh my gosh, we're just gonna go like around the lobby so that nobody sees us. Spritillo does not do that. Spritillo goes, we're going through the lobby. And like the idiots that we all are, we follow him squelching our way across the like marble floors and like, you know, all the people in like the evening dresses and tuxedos are just kind of looking at us like, ew. And we follow this, this man as we are dripping wet, like literally, we're squelching across the lobby to the very back, there's a table in the back where all the other professors are sitting. And they just start laughing at us. Spertillo walks up, he's like, we made it, we made it. It is like one of the greatest accomplishments that he ever had. And this man has a doctorate. You would think that would be the greatest accomplishment of his academic career. No, he will tell you, this is the best moment of his academic career. And so, that is Chicago. I can safely say I'm very proud of him as well. Me too. We didn't die, we didn't lose anybody, nobody got mugged, you know, all possible things in Chicago. That sounds like a win to me. Well, oh yeah. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Thank you for having me. Yeah, this has been Fill in the Blank. <laughs>